Uh, my name is Bami Manuel. I'm an artist. Um, I live here in Papi and I work mostly with pencils and um, charcoal and other mediums of art. Uh, this piece is a mixture of graphite and charcoal. The background is charcoal and then the portrait itself is um, pencil. Yeah. This I made when I was still in SS2. Wow. Yeah, I was still in SS2 and I made this piece. And that time it was during school, so, you know, a lot of depression and a lot of things I see in my friends and also myself. And especially I had a friend that she's always depressed and any little thing can make her just fall down and then she'll start screaming because of the high sense of um, depression. Mm. But I use this piece to kick against depression and say, if you can calm your mind down and see that yes, there is hope, it will be like this fresh water flowing down from his head down to his body that represents freshness and shows them life. Mm. Yeah, we reveal untold stories, unrevealed areas, even secrets, of course, Nana's Nebina. We just open some things so don't they hidden for a long time. Yeah, this is where we reveal those things that are not known, and that is why you are here in the unknown. We visit people, we take you on a tour around the area to see how things are done in such areas, or how or the kind of things that even exist in such areas. Yeah, in the unknown, we reveal facts, lifestyle, people, heroes, heroines. Just keep mentioning them. All you need to do is to stay tuned and subscribe. Come again to another episode of The Unknown where we review on all facts about people, heroes, heroines, those things that you don't really know much of that we are going to reveal to you. Of course, my humble name, which I've not really been telling you all this why, is Idam Benjamin. That is Ben P for short. And this is The Unknown with Ben P where we review on all facts. Yeah, in this particular episode, we are going to be showing you something different. Of course, in our last episode, we have shown you how um, some of you have misjudged this area, Papi, with um, some wrong things, bad areas and bad uh, news, like some other things you have also mentioned. But in this episode, we are going to be showing you this raw talent that we just discovered. Although, they can go to hyper main can disappoint me later on. But, um, see, don't um, look, don't, your focus should not be on the environment. The focus should not be on uh, what you are seeing around the area. Try much, try much to look at the talent. Your focus should be on the talent. This particular young guy, we, we just discovered recently that his dad is late. In fact, he didn't even go up to meet his dad, but his mom has been taking care of him all this while. And within that same period, this young man developed a talent of drawing. I want to see that. We are going to put him to a test to see how he can build up my team. But we want to see how you can draw anyone live. And then we want you to give him a good support. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you support the guy. The only two way you can support. Keep sharing the video till you support the guy massively. So right now we are moving to the guy's area. We are going to show you a picture of how the whole area is. Let's go together. We are close to the young man's area. He has, been, he has been expecting us for some time now, so let's pay him a visit. Let me steal one. Let the environment on this, the environment not distract you. Look at the talents we are going to show you. All right, Mr. Bami. First of all, meet meet you in person first before we go in to see your talents. Yeah. So first of all, let us know who you are. Introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, um, uh, my name is Bami Emmanuel. I'm an artist. Um, I live here in Papi and I work mostly with pencils and um, charcoal and other mediums of art. Uh, mm. Yeah, so. Now they are more. We think they use charcoal, they draw. So we'll put him to that test now. We'll test him to see what he can do. But first of all, let's look at the work he has done before. So can you take us in? Yeah, sure. All right. All right, guys, let's come in and see the environment and see his work in particular. Um, although 
I will give him the opportunity to do all that introduction of the things he has done. So have the mic. This is the opportunity. Let us know. Introduce his works to us and what inspired the work. Okay. Um, well, firstly, I will start with this with, um, piece. The very one. Yeah, I made this um, earlier this month, which um, took me two weeks to complete because I had to stop and go back again. Well, uh, at some point when I was making this piece, I actually don't have anything in mind, but when I went deeper in the detailing, I found out that um, with this piece I'm trying to convey or to use my pencil to illustrate people's stares. You know, when we say people hope for something, they keep looking at that thing until it makes them look as if they are staring at something they have not seen, but yet they believe that, that they are convinced that they will actually get that thing in return. And this piece is a mixture of graphite and charcoal. The background is charcoal and then this portrait itself is um, pencil. Mm. This I made when I was still in SS2. Wow. Yeah, I was still in SS2 and I made this piece. And that time it was during school. So, you know, a lot of depression and a lot of things I see in my friends and also myself. And especially I had a friend that she's always depressed and any little thing can make her just fall down and then she'll start screaming because of the high sense of um, depression. Mm. But I use this piece to kick against depression and say, if you can calm your mind down and see that, yes, there's hope, it will be like this fresh water flowing down from his head down to his body that represents freshness and shows them life. In, the human. Okay. All right. Okay. The works are seen in the scenery of them on the wall. We will not have all the whole time to go through all of them. And this, just these two that I have explained the law in loan, has deeper meaning. But what is the name of your brand now, like your brand name? Okay, well, I still use my name, Bami Imani. Bami Imani. Yeah. You can even look at the wall. There's already a certificate and it's a frame award, really, you can see here. That's, that's really a great one. That's really good. Because the diver shows that there's there's actually something. There's actually something that has, has been recognized here. But now we are going to see for a fact. We are going to test and see. Because we don't want the viewers to assume that um let's just conclude that this work was done by him. I know some of you might say have that doubt. We don't know what they go put up to that test. You go draw most yeah. Then from that drawing you all judge. And don't forget. If you really want to support this young man, yeah, he's a talent for us. So, if you really want to support him, make sure you comment, make sure you share. And also, I'm sure you are also into, because I can see some of them are also framed already. You also do um, framing on some pictures and paintings. All right, so we're going to have some, some look on them. And you too should also do well to patronize this young man the way you can patronize him. We are, we are here to do our own part, which is also support and encouraging to show him to you. You do your own part by sharing this video. Do your own part by making sure you encourage this young man here too. You can come down here to Papi. He's here in Papi. You can come down to Papi to support this young man. His number will be dropped on the screen for you to also see and make sure you give him full encouragement. So now, let me, let's see your studio where you do all this orchestration and orchestration and, and mm -hmm. you know, where you dissect all these things together. Okay. Let's have a look at your studio. Thank you. Yeah, come this is his um, humble studio, but that I call humble but mighty studio because I can see a lot around here. I can see a lot, mighty things around here. We'll take you through all of them one by one to see this mighty work that this young man here has done. So he has great, great works of talent, great works of talent that you can see. about two of them that actually caught my attention because we don't have time to explain all of them to you but this particular one caught my attention and then this last one here caught our attention i want to want him to explain the story behind this particular painting because i can see some kind of things that are confusing us i'm sure it's also confusing you so please let me put us through this okay um 
was uh, this painting, I uh, actually you can see some red paint and then some notes on the paper that see if um, the notes are kind of based on it, but no, they're actually drawn by hand. And then also this piece symbolizes painful stories. There are stories of people that have died and then how they actually view the world maybe at the last moment of their death. Mm. Then the red paint symbolizes the death, the painful story, their painful past. You know, when somebody wants to die, everything stares in his face and be like, oh, these are the things I've done. Or it's try those who died for our country. They died, some of them died as a hero and then I'm sure their death was so painful. And then I use this piece to actually convey all those stories and put them together in one piece. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that, that, that say, there's more to a picture than, than it is. All right, how about this one that has a danger sign and I can see, yeah. I don't know that they cancel, they don't know they talk again. Yeah, so, okay, this, especially I love this piece because during the time I made this was when we we're hearing story, we we're having like kind of stories about how women have been silenced how some women have been killed unjustly. So I decided to use this sign that shows caution. You can read the note on it that says, take caution, I'm a woman, not a cause. I'm God's creation, not a cause. Because she stands for her rights not to be silent. Take caution, I'm a woman. That is to say that this piece here, though she's silenced, well, she seems to bear that in mind to stand up and fight for our rights. That's why I see that symbol of caution on her forehead that says to anybody who tries to bring her down, rape her and silence her, she says no to being silent. She says no to rape, no to all the problems faced by women in our world today. Hmm. All right. Bobby, I think the focus let's understand, actually learn painting from somewhere. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, I think when I entered SS1, I met um, a very great master called Clens. Clens, mm. Mr. Clens, Clens Peter, also now Clens Peter. He mm. was the one that helped inspire me and also helped me through the art journey up to you now. Mm. Um, wow. Yeah. Sorry, I, w I want them to also know how old are you? Because. Okay. <laughs> No, no, that it's not a case of a, a young old man mm -hmm. <laughs> because this kind of inspiration I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm looking at it. This is beyond this age, all right? Except if I'm mistaken, his age. So let's let me be clear on that. So how old are you, please? Okay, I'm 19 now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Such talent embodied in one young man. So, Bami, we are going to put to that test now to see for a fact. Let it not be as do all these paintings. We are probably like the, the man you mentioned, Mr. Clement, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let it not be that, uh, Mr. 60. 60 minutes. Yeah. And I hear him. And I We're going to put into that test. Yeah, his equipment. So your your time starts now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So I think after the painting, we'll also see. All right. Now, um, we, are going, we are putting him to a test, of course. Here, when I said his time has already started, and his time is getting ready. So, we are going to see how he's going, how he's going to draw me life. You all be the judge.
for my fate, food for my plate, fit no to me, John. Who my balance? Even as things could they go my way, even if days I don't get nothing at all. Who my balance? Now me wait, they drive your bus. Now me wait, they drive your keke. Who my balance? So maybe you can add this, you have an idea that okay, this is close to what the person is. So it's after the sketch that it goes into the final finishing. So we want to see the sketch to know for sure what he has done. So let's have a look at the sketch. Wow. Somebody say this one they won't find past me. <laughs> wow. So we have even my even the Afro self can get carving self pass pass my own natural carving. So guys, you've seen it. Mind you, this is just a sketch. This is just a sketch. The main work, the main finishing, and even that thing can come after come after this. So, Bam, so Bami, we have already seen the work. Now, what we need to at least hear from him is. Let's know how we can support him. So, Bami, it's important we know how um, the audience, those watching, those out there, how they can support this work you are doing. What are some of the things you need to stand in this profession? Because this is no longer a talent that's going beyond the talent to so now a profession. What and what do you need? Right. Okay, um, first of all, we, well, I know that um, I really need material. But now our materials are so expensive and to produce quality work so people I actually need quality material like quality papers and um, pencils and also um, because I do make some abstract piece that I can also exhibit at some of these um, auctions if there is a way I can be connected to some galleries or some kind of event or organization that can sponsor Art exhibitions and then either with some kind of support in the aspect of materials, mostly papers and pencils. All right. Um, now that we have this talent already, like we like he mentioned, he needs that connection to be as those galleries, those exhibitions. You can see the paintings. No need to overhype it already. You can you, you can see the paintings. They just support this young man. You too. You can support him. And I would like for us to also meet mommy and let's because we are opportunity to meet his mom as well. So let's hear from the mom and know if his work somehow has been distracting her or let's also hear from her in person. Um. Here we have um, Bami's mother here with us and Bami here at this other side. So mommy. We understand that um, this kind of talent is real, and 
and uh, not all parents, not all parents are actually convenient or let's say comfortable seeing their children doing this or picking it as a profession. Well, has this in any way inconvenienced you? Yes. Really, really, um, um, Me, but particularly, I like acting and drama. Me too. I say he learned it from me, but somehow, somehow, my own is like uh, somehow. So come to school those days, I can draw some small, small things. Even you can draw. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I, I knew that I have an award. Some time in ninety. I draw map of the world. Mm. Wow. So you know, I learned a lot of things and things like that. So I just changed to from drawing up when I reached Abuja. And I can make everything I took. So when I saw him, he has the interest. And then I said, ah, wow, it's, it started when he was sick. Mm. I got the drawing. What time he would draw? What time he would draw? I said, okay, you want to draw? Are you really you want to interest? So I sometimes I'll pick, I'll just put him through. When they maybe give an assignment in school, they will just say draw. I said, okay. The little knowledge I have, I'll be telling him this I mean that we draw. Sometimes we just play together and we draw some things like touch, all this small small thing like this. So I saw that he has that interest. He, he all this phone. He will just go outside and meet people. Even this Mr. Easy yeah. and the other stuff. I don't know them. He was one that go there outside there to go and look for them. Sometimes he would just, you know, this house he was sitting there, I was one that was like, oh, it was, he went for one competition. So they went there in that house. But for me, he would be searching for people in that house. And he would be like, I'm putting this house, it's okay. Then sometimes I would just help him. So, you know, it's not easy. The way, way I'm even working is not even saying like that. But we. Yes. All right, we are very yet from mommy. This thing started even from the age of six. From the age of six. So, what we just need to know is that family has already pushed this talent out there. And I, one thing I strongly believe in is that this talent is one thing that will push not just him, but that will bring the family out to the know and to the public. So, it is left for you now watching. Don't just watch. Smile, enjoy the world, the, the beautiful acts you are seeing here, and then you leave it. You can see, and then probably you just leave like that. No. Sharing is not just enough. Commenting and liking this video is not just enough. But we also need you to, to also make some connections for this young man. His number will be placed on the screen for you to see. Make some connections for him so that people can call this young man and show him that support. We have done our own part as our own team. The unknown has just come here to show you something that. Most of you don't know. This talent has been unknown for some time now. But now it is now known to you. So it's left for you now to make this, tal this talent to be more exposed beyond the which he has created. So now we are, um, this, at this point we have come to the end of this particular episode of The Unknown with MP. And um, check out our next episode. We'll be doing more of um, some political meaning, meaning, you know how it could be. But it is more important. It is more important that uh, you um, check our previous video, see what you can also uh, contribute under, under the comment section. And of course, let um hear one or two words from Bami. Do you have anything to say before? Okay, well, um, I just want to put my, my main focus mostly on my career because since the country school, uh, well, I met a lot of people that uh, helped push my heart. And also, I want to thank the Wadon TV for taking our time to search for young talents like this. I want to encourage my mates and also those who are also facing their career not to give up, keep practicing, keep looking for more connection, and keep working hard. That's what's important. Keep doing what you are doing. Make sure it's a good one. Keep doing the best. All right. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Check out our next episode. All right.